Hootsuite also allows you to do this um, sort of automated publishing thing based on an RSS feed. So if you have a blog and you want it to automatically feed into um, these social networking accounts and post for you, you can add a feed, you just paste in the feed URL, and you can define how often you want this to check for posts. You can have it check for every 12 hours, every hour. Um, when new posts are found, tweet up to. You can specify one to five posts that it tweets at a time. Include some of the post text. You can also add a prepend. Um, for example, they give you an example new blog post or news update. And then you get to select which profile, which social media account you want this to be posted on. So it's really flexible. You get to do a lot um, you know, with that. Um, so let's go in and check out link statistics, and then we'll talk about automated posting a little bit, and then we'll kind of wrap things up. Um, if you click on the stats setting here, or the stats button, you'll see that it allows you to select certain profiles, um, and it shows you how many clicks you've gotten throughout the given period. There's a 24 hour setting, 30 days, or you can even select the date range. Okay, There's a link down here lower that shows uh, referrals and regional statistics. And you can load popular tweets from Twitter. When it pulls popular tweets, what it's going to show you is what your popular tweets have been. The most popular links that you've created. So for example, the most popular one over the last seven days has been um, this article on a WordPress plugin uh, that I posted a, a blog post on. Um, so it's really pretty useful. It shows you some really neat uh, information and allows you to see where your where your traffic is is uh, is heading, how many clicks you've gotten, that sort of thing. All right. Now let's go back to the streams. That's how you get back to your your. Uh, posts and your feeds and your friends and all that. And we can see that we've got this test post here scheduled for 11.45 today. Um, a little bit about automated posting. There's been you know, a lot, of, a lot of blog articles written about using automation in social media. Some people seem to think that it's you know, the most evil thing in the world you can do. Some people like to use it a lot. I think that there's really um, happy medium in there. There's a balance. Um, if you spend your entire day using social media and making posts and reading what other people have to say, it can be a huge time drain. Okay, But at the same time, you're supposed to be coming across as a real person on social media. So you don't want to be too automated. You don't want to be too robotic. You want to make sure and carry on good conversations. But at the same time, you might not want to spam people with 10 links you know, in a minute. So, you know, try to find what's good for you and your company, your brand, your, your personality. Um, Hootsuite allows you to schedule some things for targeted times. Like if you're, if you're targeting a, a blog post for, you know, for an Australian time zone, you go ahead and schedule one for the, you know, for what you think might be a good time during the day that, uh, that an Australian crowd might be, um, might be on. Okay. So, um, you know, Hootsuite gives you the tool to schedule your post, but you have to make the determination of what's going to be good for you and your situation. Okay. Now, real quickly, let's talk about this, um, this Hootlet down here. Uh, you can see that it even shows you drag me into your bookmark toolbar. Okay. So I'm going to drag this thing up here into my toolbar and I'm just going to let it say Hootlet. Now, when it's there, one neat thing about this Hootlet is that if I'm on a web page, and let's just pretend I've got a web page up here on CNET about the shuttle, shuttle Endeavor glides to ghostly night landing. If I want to make a post about this, I'm just reading this page on CNET, and I want to, um, and I want to post uh, on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. I can just click this Hootlet button, and you can see that I get the. Um, you know the status update in a little pop-up window. I've got all the social media accounts that I use. I can put it. Let's put them on Facebook. Um, let's schedule it for um, 
schedule it for a few minutes in advance just so we can delete it in a minute and we'll go ahead and click schedule I think everything looks right okay so then it's scheduled and I can go back to reading the article or you know doing whatever I was going to do and the post will happen for me automatically we're going to go back to, to Hootsuite in a second and delete it all right now if I refresh my pending tweets column we'll see that there it is it's got the it's got the um, the title of the post where it came from and it's also got the uh, Owly link which is the link that the shortener that Hootsuite uses on its own and will track for um, for you for your account uh, so that's nice it automatically does that for you if you use this um, this Hootlet bookmark button now let's hop over to our other browser and sign in using a different our different account okay so we do that we notice that um, look at this see I don't have any of those columns that we set up before um, we don't have you know I don't have any authority to post to any social networks except for the one that I was you know gave privilege to this account so you can see that it's really it's really good and um, you know sort of restricted for multi multi-user situations you might have like I said you might have uh, the need to offer real-time customer service so you know give give five people in your organization editing accounts on here and they can they can see what's being said about your brand they can respond to customer service issues um, you know and that sort of thing they can all be on the same page okay um, so it's really that's really a pretty good use of um, you know multiple users on uh, Twitter Let's go back over to uh, Safari, and we'll go ahead and delete these um, these posts. I'll show you how easy it is. It'll just ask you if you want to permanently delete the message. I'm going to say yes. I'll delete those two, and they're all gone. There's really so much more that Hootsuite does, but your brain is already overloaded, so we'll stop here for now. Um, thank you for checking this out. I hope you give Hootsuite a try, and maybe it'll help you manage your social media meet you know time a little bit better. I um, hope, really hope this helps people out. See you next time.